on Garage Land, we're talking to a band whose career requires very little context, Broken Social Scene. An epic flashpoint for Toronto's burgeoning indie rock scene early in the aughts, the band recently slimmed down to a core of seven members for the writing and recording of their fourth studio album, Forgiveness Rock Record. The record also marks the band's first time recording in Chicago with John McIntyre of Tortoise, Sea and Cake, and about a million other highly influential musical endeavors. Big fun That's junk. What we're here for. Yeah, I guess, eh? Mm-hmm. It's our job. Yeah, yeah. You guys <laughs> work, are at work, work, work right now. We're at work <laughs> right now. Yeah. yeah. What's the hardest thing about being at work with Broken Social Scene? The people. <laughs> <laughs> Your coworkers are all dicks, eh? <laughs> Driving nuts. <laughs> I love you, Charlie. But yeah. damn, whatever. Being in a band that is uh, as accomplished and professional as, as you guys are, um, I always wonder when it comes to these sorts of situations where we're in the middle of a day where there's a whole bunch of people doing interviews. There's like interview pods all throughout this this restaurant right now. Yeah, what are. what is the most amusing? Some curly hair. Let's focus in on that girl's hair right there. <laughs> Let me zoom in on that curly hair. I like to interview pods. <laughs> slash curly hair. Slash curly hair. These are your your interests right now. What what for you guys is the most uh, amusing and the most frustrating part of this cycle that you've gone through so many times of having to launch a new record? I don't think we've ever done like a promo week before. There's an incredible amount of bands putting out records right now, so there's only so much space. Yeah, we're and lucky. People we're, are we're, curious. We're quite know? lucky to do this. So, I mean, we like to joke and goof around. I mean, this is Exclaim TV. It's very serious, actually. Mm. Oh, my God. I know. I've been waiting to do this. <laughs> <laughs> so for us to come knocking on yeah. your door? Well, here we are. You're welcome. Where's, was there a meeting? You know, you mentioned that there are a lot of bands putting out records right now, which is always true, but it seems like there must have been some kind of summit of all of the most popular Canadian bands yeah, currently making music. 2010. Like, yeah, 2010. I'm thinking May. Let's just all put out our records in May. Like, we're, like, can you tell us about that meeting? It was like, a secret. It never it happened. Yeah. I wanted it to happen. That's right. It, it never was. happened. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it doesn't really... really the release days don't mean anything anymore. I remember when I heard New, New Pornographers putting out a record, I called Jeff and said, New Pornographers are putting out a record that day? Do you think that, that should really matter? And then also Arcade Fire is making a record, so a lot of the bands were like, when is Arcade Fire putting out their album? Is Arcade Fire like the Icelandic volcano of yeah. indie rock that people are kind of worried <laughs> well about? Said. It was on some emails that I received. It was yeah. just like, don't put your record anywhere <laughs> around Arcade Fire's record. Yeah. And I know Mac and Merge, and I kind of wrote them like, Hey, uh, you guys know when uh, you guys might be putting your record out? Just, yeah. uh, I got 16 bands sweating it over here that want to know. You mentioned that record release dates don't matter as much now, and your record leaked, I guess, two weeks ago or something? Yeah, thank God. Yeah. Right. What's I, was, your... I was relieved. I mean, it, we finished the record in January, and yeah. then we have to wait and wait and wait. And it's like, we just want people to hear it. You know, I called John McIntyre. I said, Johnny, the record leaked. And there was some silence, and he just replied, it's about time. <laughs> <laughs> True story. 